I've conducted a research on how acid rain affects the surface of limestone buildings in the city of Liège, Belgium. Here you can see a building which has been drastically affected by acid rain. Now I will explain to you how this has come about. Acid rain reacts with the calcium that is found in limestone. When this reaction happens a substance called gypsum is formed. Gypsum, if left long enough, will gather any dirt particles that are in the air, eventually turning the surface of the limestone black. However, gypsum is also soluble in water, so in areas that receive heavy rain, it will get washed away. I have identified five main factors which determine whether and how the gypsum gets washed away. These factors are environmental, facade details, shelter, splashing, and water accumulation. As the environmental factors influence all the other factors, they must always be kept in mind when incorporating the effects of acid rain in any design. The prevailing wind direction, a site-specific factor, largely determines which parts of a building receive the most or least rainfall. Shelter given by nearby buildings or trees is also site-specific and should never be overlooked. Gravity is the final environmental factor that must be taken into account. Water always wants to travel downwards, reaching the lowest point on the surface, before it finally drips off. Small facade details can have very big effects. Take for example these profiles. Most of the water flows in one direction, following the diagonal grooves. This is an easy way to almost always make the building's facade look interesting. A lip on the underside of a ledge forces the water to drip down at a point away from the wall. Any protrusions tend to gather more water from the rain, but also from drips coming from a ledges above. Splashing occurs both on the ground and on any significant ledge. It happens when falling rain hits a surface and leaves a mark on the wall above it. It also happens when pedestrians or traffic splash water against the wall. It has a distinct appearance which in certain situations can look very appealing. Shelter is a very important factor to consider. Protruding objects provide shelter to areas below and to areas on either side, depending on the prevailing wind direction. On this picture, the balcony stops rainfall from accumulating on the window on the right, but allows it to accumulate on the window to the left. You can see this from the white areas beneath the windows. The building itself and surrounding buildings will also provide a certain amount of shelter. The lower parts of a building usually receive the least amount of rain. Here you can see the ledge provides shelter, however, there are two cracks at the back allowing the water to get through. This is a form of water accumulation. Water accumulates in many different places, for instance on protruding points like this one bringing water to the surface that usually would be sheltered. Water also gathers in cracks or gaps, which will greatly affect the area below it. It also accumulates on windows. For this reason, a windowsill is usually white. In this building, a source of water other than rainfall is used to clean the surface of gypsum. Here I have devised a situation where water is directed into a vertical groove, preventing one area from receiving rainfall and bringing it to another.